Welcome back, beloved. Today, we are going to be talking about the World Economic Forum. They put out a video uh, of eight predictions for 2030. And I'm going to comment a little. It's only a 90-second video. I'm going to play it here in a second. I'm going to comment a little on a couple of the predictions. I find them very prophetic. I, I can kind of see scripture leaping off the pages. The World Economic Forum is a huge United Nations type uh, intergovernmental institution, huge into globalism. Uh, they've worked with many presidents, kings, leaders, as well as many religious groups in you know Islam, Catholicism. Pope Francis has addressed the World Economic Forum several times, uh, even just last year. Uh, but the main thing in the video that I want to focus on, uh, I'm going to bring in a couple Bible verses. It talks about the banning of meat, the banning of meat, and uh, not necessarily banning it, but how we're going to eat less and less of it. And I just think it's amazing how the Bible foretells the future. Uh, it literally clearly shows us what is coming and then it comes. And I think that's one of the strongest authorities for why the Bible is the inspired words of God to humanity. And so I'm just going to read a couple verses. First Timothy chapter four. This is written like 2000 years ago. Absolutely amazing. It says, now the spirit explicitly says that in latter times, some will depart from the faith. The spirit explicitly saying something is nowhere else in scripture. This is the only time. So I think we should pay attention. The spirit expressly, explicitly says some will depart from the faith. They will give heed to deceiving spirits and doctrines, teachings of demons. They will speak lies and hypocrisy, and their consciences are seared with a hot iron. They can lie and not feel guilty about it. They will forbid to marry. We're not talking about that today, but that's one thing they'll do. And command to abstain from foods which God created to be received with thanksgiving by those who believe and know the truth. That word for foods can also mean meats. And the reason we know it is meats is because then right here it says, for every creature of God is good, and nothing is to be refused if it is received with thanksgiving, for it is sanctified by the word of God and prayer. So that word actually means meats, meat, but it's talking about creatures. They're going to ban the eating of creatures, okay? It then goes on to say, if you instruct the brethren in these things, you will be a good minister of Jesus Christ. So a lot of people might say, man, you're being sensationalist. You're always talking about the end of the world. The Spirit explicitly says this in the Word of God, and then Paul tells Timothy, instruct their brethren in these things. You will be a good minister of Jesus Christ, nourish in the words of faith and of good doctrine, which you have carefully followed. So there's a command for Timothy, and I think a command for all faithful preachers to look for this stuff. There is a massive global rise of veganism right now, and it's huge in the Catholic Church, it's huge in different religions, and it's huge in regards to climate change and just the way the world is trending, just like the Bible has said. And so with that, I'm going to bring up this video. I'm going to comment on a couple other things, but when I get to this section, that's where we'll spend the most time. Just something interesting here. I hope you'll be uh, be a Berean. Read Daniel chapter 7, Daniel chapter 8, Daniel chapter 11. It speaks about the Antichrist, and it says he intends to change times and laws. He's going to change the law. There's going to be a new morality. There's going to be a new economic system, probably. It says he destroys many in their prosperity. Daniel 11 says he uh, has all the gold and silver and precious things. He honors a God of fortresses, right, with his gold and his wealth, which he's amassed. He's going to have all the money and wealth in the world. That is huge. If you follow biblical prophecy, it says it says the U.S. will not, you know, be a world leader anymore. A handful of countries will dominate. The Bible, Daniel chapter 7, talks about this very clear coming final world kingdom. It says this kingdom will trample all other kingdoms. It will devour the whole earth and reduce it to dust. It's going to be a brutal dictatorship, a violent, vicious kingdom and it will dominate the world. It says a handful of countries will dominate. 
It also says very clearly, both in Daniel 7 and all throughout Revelation, there will be 10 kings of this coming kingdom who will rule the world, and they will give their authority to the beast, to the Antichrist, and then he will actually destroy three of those kingdoms, right? And so that's something where I find amazing, where it says a handful of countries will dominate. I'm not saying they're about to pick 10 countries, and this is all about to go down right now. It's just that one day these things will happen, and this is why I find this stuff fascinating. You see that? You'll eat much less meat. An occasional treat, not a staple. Okay, guys, this is amazing. The Bible lays out and it says the spirit explicitly says this and it says to keep teaching this <laughs> the bible lays out such a specific prophecy god in his magnificent wisdom gives us a very specific prophecy it says they are going to ban the consumption of meat okay uh, I would recommend you watch my video, Why is the Catholic Church Obsessed with Going Vegan? I will put it in the comment section on YouTube, and I, I recommend you check it out. Uh, this is huge in the Catholic Church right now. They have not banned it yet. I'm not coming out here and saying, hey, they banned meat. The governments are banning meat. This is happening. This is the way it's trending. And the reason that they're doing this is because they're claiming that meat is really bad for climate change. It costs a lot of machinery and oil and all sorts of other things that affect the climate by producing meat. And we know that there are two spirits in this world, the Holy Spirit from God that he gives to the children who repent and believe on Christ. And then there is a spirit that works in the sons of disobedience. And whether you're Catholic or Islam or Hindu or an atheist, you're going to be given over to these spirits. And one of the things the Bible says, they are going to do this. They are going to ban the consumption of meat. I find this stuff absolutely amazing because I know God is sovereign. He knows what's going to happen. He has decreed it. And he has, to his saints, given us his word. And it's meant to comfort us that he is in full control. And so this is one I just find interesting, just to finish up. Uh, the book of Jude, it talks about how before the flood, demons or angels at the time did not keep their proper habitation. They were in the heavens, in the galaxies. They were in, you know, the God's creation, not on earth. They did not keep their habitation. They came to earth and they actually had children with women and created, you know, this mixed race that was an abomination to God and he drowned the world in the flood, right? Judgment came at that time. And it says because they didn't keep their habitation. Now, I'm not saying it's a sin to go to space or for Jeff Bezos to fly around or anything like that. What I'm saying is for the first time in human history, we're not really keeping our habitation. And I do wonder what God thinks about it, right? We're trying to go to Mars. We're trying to do all these other things. And there is so much talk about aliens. It is ridiculous. Listen, guys, God says he is going to destroy the wisdom of the wise. Listen, we think we're so brilliant and we're doing the same thing. Solomon says, nothing changes. We are looking up in the heavens and rejecting the true creator of, of the world, the one outside creation who created it and yet also came into it in the person of Jesus Christ. We reject him. But look at what we still do. We still look up to the heavens and we create a religion. We're looking for aliens. We're looking for life. All these different things that are just not there. And this is what I find amazing. Four or 5,000 years ago, people looked up to the heavens and they created Zoroastrianism and they created Hinduism and all these other false demonic religions. Well, look at what we're doing now. We think we're so brilliant with our telescopes and our science. We're looking up. We're rejecting God. And the wisdom of man is truly foolishness in the eyes of God.
And that's pretty much it on the video. Just one thing I want you to guys keep an eye on the global move towards veganism. It's happening very fast. Huge religious organizations are in it. Huge governments are into it. The youth are all about it because they've been sold a lie that climate change is going to destroy the planet when in reality, God is going to destroy this planet. And I just want to finish with a couple Bible verses. I think these are huge, huge for evangelism. Isaiah chapter 46, it says, Remember the former things of old, for I am God and there is no other. I am God and there is none like me. And check this out, declaring the end from the beginning. This is why Bible prophecy is so important. Declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times, things that are not yet done, saying, my counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure. He is the true God. If you study his word, it actually happens. Check out my other videos, the regathering of Israel. God prophesied that. He prophesied so much. There is so much truth in the Bible that proves it. It is absolutely shocking. And the reason mankind does not study it is because they don't actually want God. It says we hate God. But if we repent of our sins and turn and look to Jesus at what he did, he gives us a new heart, a new spirit, and he actually explains the words of the Bible to us. He is God. He declares the end from the beginning. If you get in the Bible, you will see how world history is going to wrap up exactly how he has written it. One final verse, Revelation eleven eighteen. This is the end of the age when Jesus comes back. It says the nations were angry. Look at this. The world is going off on its own thing, trying to get into space, rejecting God, coming up with all these reasons the world is going to end, doing exactly what God said they would in the Bible, which is eventually they're going to ban meat. It says the nations were angry and your wrath has come and the time of the dead that they should be judged and that you should reward your servants, the prophets and the saints and those who fear your name, small and great, and you should destroy those who destroy the earth. God makes it very clear. The earth is being destroyed because of the sin, because of the rebellion, okay? And so my hope for everyone is that we fear his name. Fear the name of the Lord. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. Flee from the wrath to the name of the Lord, that strong tower. The name of the Lord is Jesus Christ.